Hello everyone, welcome to uh, the Master of Software Testing, batch number 5 and uh, the orientation session for the manual testing. So what we're trying to do starting from today is to introduce you to how the most 5, which is Master of Software Testing, batch number 5 is going to work and operate. Uh, how you could enroll for the program, what this program will be all about. And then we will quickly jump into the orientation session for the upcoming manual testing. Uh, how we're going to do, what we're going to do, uh, everything we will walk you through as we go along. Along with me, I also have my co-trainer Shankar. Shankar, how are you doing? Everyone, I'm good. Thanks. All right, great. So uh, let me quickly talk about Master of Software Testing uh, for a few minutes. And then I will hand it over to Shankar. Uh, to walk you through how the manual testing and some of the test management, defect management tools is going to be taking on uh, to train you all in the upcoming few weeks how that program is going to work. So to begin with team, uh, I'm going to talk about the approach towards most five. Most five is by far the most prominent course that we offer as part of ITE Learn. Uh, the concept here is very simple. How can we make you a master of software testing? What could we do in a period of three to four months that will shape up the entire career and it will set you on a road to success through getting your first job or migrating you from an existing uh, field which is non-IT into IT industry and so on. Primarily, as this document shows, here is a small approach. Yes, we did a detailed orientation session a few weeks back. If you are interested, you could go back and look at that. You will find that in, on our website, itelearn.com. Now, as you see, the primary intent is how can we get you to master software testing? And what we're looking at is not to master every component of it. It's going to be impossible to do it within three months. But we're looking at least two or three areas that you can really build as a skill and go as a master with a lot of confidence to the market. What could those skills be? For example, just as an example, manual testing and Selenium or manual testing and QTP slash UFT or database testing and uh, any of these or mobile app testing with Selenium. So a combination of two or three fields that we expect you to master in the first three months you will have access to the entire catalog of courses that are as per the master software testing program for three years so anytime in the three year let's say you get into your job you start working and suddenly you realize that hey you need to be learning some other tool which you've not got a chance earlier you can go back and still run uh, run those videos and or attend any of the live upcoming live sessions now uh, what this program will have team is that there's a lot of time and effort that needs to be spent from your end all right so you need to be able to dedicate a few hours every week to be part of this program there is no point in joining this program if you expect spoon feeding you will be divided into teams into groups and you'll be doing a lot of group study a lot of group activity and um, group presentations in that small group of about 10 people each, you would see how each of you help each other and make sure that you go deep dive into the topics and really get to know the concepts at a very, very detailed level. Apart from the fact that we will make sure that the training is very intense, you will also see that the live projects that we put you through will get you that required hands-on experience, will get you the required referenceable projects on your resume that you can put and very confidently go and attend interviews. Especially for someone who's not worked in QA or in a specific automation testing field like Selenium or QTP earlier, this program is an excellent launching pad because it will give you the skill, it will give you the hands-on exposure, it will also give you references for project work that you do with us. These are actual live projects that we take you. So as part of it, what we try and do is we start with the manual software testing, a combination along with QCALM, Jira, and Bugzilla. That is the first thing that we are trying to address. And this is where we are today. Our intent is to try and launch through this step number six at the moment. Uh, as we go along, for 
people who are part of most five you will also see that uh, the basics of HTML, MS5 and database testing are something that you will go through parallelly. Now, what we will be doing going forward team is dividing you all into teams as part of most five. So primarily team, if I can take a quick paint as a background, most five is like a mega program team. Okay, everything that we do is part of this. So there is a manual testing component here. There is database testing, uh, there is HTML, MS Office, each of the circles representing them, QTP, Selenium, QTP, Selenium, mobile app testing. Then um, we talk about some web services, we talk about ALM, Jira, Bugzilla, and so on, and many other how to prepare for job interviews, a combination of a lot of things put together. Out of this, what we're saying is we're expecting you to master one or two or maximum three things in the first given uh, two to three months time after that as your job need arises as your intent interest level increases you can come back and learn each of this so today we are talking about the first block which is the manual testing so when you are enrolling for the training you can enroll just for manual testing if you're interested only in that course or you can also enroll in the overall program which is most five and take advantage of everything else the reason we recommend you to at least take manual testing along with an automation tool is because manual testing is like a basic level it is a given every software test engineer is expected to know manual testing whether they know automation or not is relevant but manual testing is mandatory so if you go to a job Along with you, there are 100 other people who are attending the same interview who all are good in manual testing. There's no one who's bad in it. So that is your foundation level that we are laying. But to build on this, you need at least one or two strong tools team. And that is why automation is needed. So manual testing is mandatory, but you need to add on to it with some kind of tools. Just by saying that, hey, I'm very good in manual testing. I know quality center or ALM will really not help you in the market team. You have to go further and try and build some other automation tool. Most famous one is Selenium or web services or database testing or QTP and so on. So you have to pick a combination. So that is your choice how you want to do. It all starts with your goal team. So set your goal and see how you want to go through it. And if you're ready to spend at least the next coming one month very strongly, on these two areas manual software testing and manual testing live project so once you decide that yes this is the area of focus for me it will become easy for you to go forward like I was talking about there will be a lot of team based learning a lot of execution through live projects your participation is going to be uh, very very active so you cannot say that hey uh, I will try and attend no you have to do it you have to do it totally either you take like I pictured in the diagram just a manual testing program or you take the entire most five because you either way need to buy a combination of few of them all right it can be part of videos it can be part of live training you'll also see live projects coming along so there's a lot of content that goes into it end of the day team um, i do agree we are not one of the most cheapest courses from a price standpoint because we believe in what we give we believe in the value that students get and more than the money you spend it is the time and effort that you put in along with us that is uh, got a lot more value so like i was saying master software testing is all about interactions how you go about presentations how you go about interacting with the team all of those uh, great elements will really help you out now this is part of most five and the there is a video that you'll find on our website for most five you can watch that video uh, to be able to get a good idea let me go and go please. I'm just quickly walking you through uh, the online course events which I did recently. Most five. Do you see this, everyone? So once you go there under master software testing five, I will also put it under chat for you all so you can pick up that link you will find the orientation session for this specific master of software testing 
so do watch this do look at what we're doing there it will give you a great amount of information that may be helpful okay all right great so i've got that for you and now um, that's master software testing like i was saying uh, the orientation session video is here about 27 minutes so if you really want to invest a little bit of time and go through it you should do that there uh, now let's talk about manual testing team as part of what we have done over a period of last six years we have built incredible amount of um, content on various topics team so if you look at for example online courses you will see right from QA training, QTP, Selenium, Web Services, Mobile Testing, Code Java, ISTQB, Security Testing, ALM, Database, Master Software Testing, Software Testing Essentials, Performance Testing using Load Runner and JMeter, Python, Informatica, Proactive Testing, PMP, MS Office, HTML, and Job Placement Training. Okay, so these are the different combination, different courses that are offered as part of IT Learn and if you are looking to join any of them you can go and look at our pricing page you will get all the details about what course is available uh, there's a small video which will also walk through what you can select and so on so here are the price details for every course that we offer that is listed out here and you can get access to them uh, definitely make sure that you read some of these points which are there below it will help you get a good understanding now if I go back to the online courses and just focus on the QA training videos, this is the manual testing. So, so far we have done multiple batches. You will have access to the software testing fundamental training videos that I've done, which covers a lot of concepts. And then some recent live trainings that we've done in one in Feb, and there are access to live projects as well. Live projects are very interesting team. What that will do is it will show how old participant batches have gone through and executed a live project on a real application and that they could take and put it on the resume so all of this library of content videos tutorials documents is something that you get as part of the package so for example jira tutorials are here uh, then the content is protected unless you log in as a member you will not be able to access all the content there are some free videos uh, most of them are definitely protected for members only now this is qa software testing you can also look at the recent live training that we did in feb this is what shankar had performed earlier uh, in a similar fashion he is going to go through so not only will we cover a few sessions live but you will also get access to hours and hours of good high quality content uh, that you can take offline um, and start offline in the sense after the live sessions you can really groom yourself uh, so that was online courses that I was talking about now I can also show you the live projects live projects primarily are the ones where you do everything you come to us and you present all right we don't do anything in that what we do primarily when I say we don't do anything is we look at as a panel of participants we see what you've done we see how you've done things and then we try and take uh, give you feedback on how you're supposed to do it how things work in life environment in a real life scenario and give you a lot of guidance there all right because when we train we just speak about what you're supposed to know but when you do live projects you actually come back to us and say that okay this is what we've learned and this is how we do so that's why it becomes extremely important team for you to involve in live projects as well so um, right now i've spoken on three things in most five itself i'm going to create a new document here um and i'll call this as but now i'll put it here this is called qa live training july 2015 okay so qa live training july 2015 uh shankar you do have access to this folder right yeah shankar you do can you log in as yes, well to this folder yeah. so once sure. i'm done you can take over and start writing down some notes on how you'll approach okay for this as i said you will have access team to the software testing fundamentals all the tutorials there you'll also have access to the live projects 
so do note team there are two levels one is qa live training then we have qa live project and then we have alm live training slash videos so there are different components live training and videos videos is by default team which comes with everything alm is the only one i believe shankar will explain that we will guide you through as videos because if we have to start helping you out with a, doing it again uh, the software becomes challenge and that's why we will however guide you how and what you should be doing to get there um, so there are three components that you're looking at and an option of master of software testing so here are the various four courses that you could opt for you could if you, once you take master software testing everything gets included or you can just take live training and videos after you take this you will be able to then get eligible to take project and videos and then you can get alm live training videos so combination of the prices and all that we, i will have my team send it to you so that you can look at and choose and then be able to start on it uh, shankar once you have come to this document which is there in most five folder uh, i can hand it over i got it i got it yeah i got it there you got it okay so should i make you the presenter yeah please. okay great so let me introduce you to shankar everyone shankar has been with it elm for the last few months but he's been with the it industry for uh, almost a decade or close he's been working in a very very uh, um, technical qa role for a very long time he's currently working with a multinational organization uh, and he is also leading a team of qa professionals he's been executing multiple projects he's the one who's got a very very strong hands on skill in this area a uh, great thing about shankar not only does he bring the technical expertise and the skill that is required for training but he's also got a lot of experience in training hundreds of professionals worldwide so that experience along with the fact that we've been doing it together in it learn uh, on some of these courses i'm very confident that he will do a brilliant job i will be there part of the system uh, but the main training will be conducted by shankar for this upcoming qa live training once it comes to qtp selenium and so on i will start taking over and i'll start working with you on that uh, but right now i'm handing over to shankar he is going to be the one who is going to uh, walk through some of this uh, for the next 10 15 minutes and then we'll be happy to take all your questions so shankar i make you the presenter see if you can start to share your screen and take it forward from there Sure, got it. Yeah, hope you all can see my screen as well as you can hear me good at this moment. Is the audio and the video clear? Can one of you confirm, please? Okay. Thank you. so uh, what are we going to do yeah thanks what are we going to do as part of this uh, qa live training and videos i'll i'll really you know, kartik has covered pretty much on the introduction part of it but what i'll do as part of the uh, detail orientation uh, we i'll be discussing about what are the topics that we're going to discuss uh, in this qa live training some of them will be uh, you know detailed discuss as a live courses and some of them are already covered by kartik as part of the you know previous sessions uh, which you will have actually walking through as a videos okay but typically what you're going to learn by end of when we say uh, qa live training is done or you have done through videos what you're going to learn is these are some of the important topics now i'll just put the topics it's not going to be everything in life uh, i'll be touching upon some of the very important things that you will be required and some of them i will let you know exactly which video you have to walk through uh, you know nothing can be done more than that even if i do it live because those are pretty much covered in the videos but let's see what are the topics that you need to know at fundamentally when you wanted to start as a test engineer you should understand uh basically what is testing is all about okay i'll just put the topic names it doesn't mean that uh, you know you need to start at this fundamental level so you should understand what is what is uh, you know 
what is the importance of testing basically or you know why we need to know or why we need to do the testing for the software projects so we may start defining very fundamental level what this software is all about like you know there are different types of software that you come across in your day to day life it could be a uh, products that you have seen it could be the application software that you have come across different applications on your mobile devices you know computer laptops etc so whatever the form of it why we should you know give importance to the testing why we actually focus on the testing that probably in some of the orientations you might have heard from kartik and, and me previously but we'll drill down a little bit of it uh, it's a concept thing that you will get it from the video also then we'll talk about <clears throat> you know uh, what are the different uh, when you actually do the uh, testing what are the different issues that you will identify so through my discussions of live training you will come to know what exactly mean by a defect or a issue or you know because we will be practically reporting these def defects in a IEEE standard format so before that you need to be aware of the definitions of what is mean by a defect uh, issue or an error or sometimes people call it as an incident so we will be walking through different forms of these definitions of uh, you know which we generally it's basically uh, something that you're expecting in the application is not working as per the expectations so how do you name it as yeah you can even call it as a bug as some of you are just trying to give it there are different forms of them so we'll try to understand what are those different names okay and we'll look at some of the critic, you know critical uh, classical issues where you know some of the important defects have created a lot of problems in the software uh, to understand the much more importance I, as you all know there are different domains in which softwares will run it like financial domains banking domains healthcare domains so and and we'll see the criticality of uh, these issues in those areas so that you can give a lot of value to the testing career that you are going to do it and how much responsibilities that you have as part of uh, you know uh, part of your career of testing then we'll walk you through some of the important uh, uh, development life cycles so basically software development uh, life cycles it's not that i will be uh, you know there are some videos for this which covered as you know already covered development life cycles like a waterfall model that you have to be familiar uh, a v model that needs to be familiar and the latest trend in the industry is the agile model so I will be explaining uh, in the live orientations uh, about in brief about each of them and then you need to walk through the videos that are already there the current industry where we are currently looking at the models are is all agile uh, what does that mean see is we are trying to deliver the software in a in a faster mode compared to the previous waterfall where we used to do six months projects eight months projects and one year projects now we are trying to deliver every four weeks every six weeks so because the that's how the customers are expecting it we cannot do such a luxury time of projects like six months anymore now so we'll try to understand uh, what are these different forms of agile models in which I will be trying to come up cover up some of the things that you might have heard about like scrum you know extreme programming uh, etc different forms of uh, agile methodology <clears throat> then we'll understand the uh, software testing life cycle apart from development life cycle you should even to understand how does the testing team follow certain life cycle uh, and what are the activities that will be done so you can call this as STLC software testing life cycle the previous one is SDLC okay so even though you are a test engineer you should be uh, well and clear with the concepts of software development life cycle because when you go for an interview people might ask you uh, you know which phase of the life cycle you have written the test cases or uh, in and what are the basis for you to write your test cases see the main things uh, in this we are going to cover is how do you write your uh, test cases or test scenarios how do you make the you know defect tracking and how do you do the test reporting these are some of the things that are the practical aspects of it which I will be walking you through when we do this live training 
but even to reach to that level there are certain concepts that you have to be familiar I will be showing you the exactly uh, which video you have to go through to get those concepts and all so people will be asking you what are the different phases of SDLC that you have participated and which phase of the life cycle you have written the test cases on what basis you have written the test cases and uh, what are the different uh, black box white box testing methodologies that you have used while writing test cases so etc for that you'll have to understand the complete uh, SDLC models similarly you have to understand uh, testing life cycle models because everything comes with a planning we don't just do these testing activities and ad hoc so there is a clear test planning activity that happens followed by uh, you know uh, there are uh, tested designing activities that we will be doing it then execution activities you will be doing it all this you either do it uh, in a tool there are certain tools like you know test management tools uh, as as Karthik worked in the orientation that HP ALM is one of the tool or if you're just talking about only bugs you can use the bugzilla tool for that or you may be using uh, um, there are other tools in the market like we'll be walking you through them uh, what we have uh, pretty much we have covered most of the management tools that are popular in the market uh, in today's world so we'll understand software development life cycle software testing life cycle uh, then we'll talk about uh, testing methodologies basically I just gave you names like you know uh, you will be clearly understanding uh, with our discussions like what is a black box testing is all about uh, you will be understanding what is a white box testing is all about a black box testing white box testing and some of you might have even heard about uh, <clears throat> Uh, gray box testing also which is a combination of them so we'll, I'll be kind of giving you details on what are these three methods and if you look at uh, the industry wide around 70 to 80 percent of the projects will be using this and in white box testing you need to do a kind of testing on the program itself so this is requires certain programming skills so mostly development team the extended development team or uh, some of the test engineers who are capable of validating the white box uh, the program they will be doing it and in certain organizations uh, they will try to combine both black box and white box so majorly will walk you through black box testing techniques because that will help us in writing the test cases so the next important thing what we're going to do is writing the test cases so for that you should understand some of the uh, black box testing techniques so the meaning of black box here is whatever the project you're going to test you don't need to have any knowledge about what is a technology that is being used whether it is being developed in C sharp Java or what is a inbuilt technology in that you don't need to aware of that programming at all as a test engineer all that you are going to do is consider it as an application and ensure its functionality is fine its load and performance is fine it is working on different platforms and different operating systems and browsers etc security wise it is fine right compatibility wise it is fine so those things you're going to check but you're not going to really validate the program behind it that will be done in white box testing and uh, that's mostly done by the extended uh, development team here what you're going to learn and what you're going to work in the industry is majorly is the black box testing technique so that's why we'll spend some good amount of time in understanding black box testing techniques there are some techniques like boundary value analysis equal class partitioning uh, error guessing techniques that will help you in writing those uh, test cases so these some of them you will get it through my live session some of them will be the combination of videos the next thing as, as I uh, kind of mentioned in the headline we will start looking at how do we write uh, test scenarios how do we write uh, test cases so as soon as you join as the test engineer in, in any organization in any project the first and foremost deliverable that is expected by you is basically writing these test cases these are all concepts that you need to aware of to come to that level uh, that we will be doing it but the, the deliverable as such the you know test artifact that you're going to deliver the first thing is about writing test cases and while writing the test cases there is a IEEE standard format that we will follow that is followed in most of the organizations uh, we'll use that and we'll understand that so basically what I'll do it we'll take up a project as we said 
will understand certain you know requirements of the project and based on those requirements I will show you by writing a couple of test cases and then there will be a good amount of work will be given to you wherein you have to go back spend some time at home as a practical and you need to write the test cases for them uh, basically you need to build that attitude of testing thinking about positive negative on that application so we'll try to inculcate those kind of uh, testing attitudes as as we go through so that is the first thing uh, you know the deliverable that you are going to do so we'll talk about writing test scenarios and test cases it's majorly the first thing that we'll try to attempt it is all about functional testing there are different uh, levels of testing so uh, probably I'll walk through them also a little bit before only levels of testing there are different levels of testing like uh, you know uh, unit testing it starts at the unit level unit testing then we have something called uh, integration testing and then we have a uh, system testing and final system is also known as something called end-to-end uh, -end testing so I will be kind of walking through each one of them forget about in unit testing for now because it's always done by the development team itself so when the developers are not going to just write the code and throw it to the testing team for the testing they are also going to do some validation so this is always done by development team but the other things like integration testing system testing and there will be a, a acceptance testing that our business team will do when you sign off your project for the users so we'll talk about those different levels but here what we're going to do majorly is on the system testing and one variant of that is again it's a functional testing so you'll be writing the test cases and test scenarios for that then after that what we'll do I will be showing you these uh, test execution on the project so we'll take the project and on whatever the basis you have written the test cases will go and execute them will go and execute those step-by-step -step test cases on the project and then we'll see whether it is working as per the expectations of the project or is deviating from the project so you will come to know when we are executing and wherever we have the deviations so we will look at how do we do this defect tracking or how do you deal with this concept of defect management and we'll see this practically so whenever you write a defect or whenever you report a defect what are all the information you have to give what are again there is a standard format that is followed in the organization so we'll talk about different uh, fields within the defect uh, tracking tools uh, things like you know what is severity what is priority there are a lot of concepts that you need to know and and we'll give a lot more examples of uh, because not every defect that you find is of same criticality right so and and the same thing expected by the project team that you don't log everything of same uh, criticality so there are different categories of criticalities that we'll talk about uh, when we do this so that's one thing and that's where the you know con uh, tools like bugzilla will come into picture so you can use either bugzilla tool or you can use the uh, ALM tool itself uh, for even to write the test cases also you can use ALM tool we'll start with Excel first because that's where even the uh, real projects people will write them in the Excel and then they'll be exporting them into any of the test management tool that they're going to use like ALM or any of the tools and then execution uh, I will show you how you can update these results again back in the Excel as well as in ALM how you can update them coming to bugs you can either use the bugzilla tool or you can uh, you know uh, use ALM or you can use uh, Zira so will be that's that's the whole heading that we have done it right QLI training plus these tools so by end of this one month that we are trying to do you will be getting familiarity in fact a practical experience of uh, all these manual test case writing as well as using these tools followed by executing your projects tracking defects and then we'll also talk about uh, test reporting fine so you have done with the testing then uh, how do you give the status back to the team the project team it could be on a daily basis uh, or it could be on a weekly basis depending on what life cycle that your team is following so you will be generating a daily status report saying that you know today I have done this much more testing I have executed let's say some 12 test cases 15 test cases based on the complexity of them and let's say two of them are failed 10 are passed 
and within the two I found like you know two defects I logged them one is of high critical one is of low critical so these are all the expected deliverables whatever I'm kind of highlighting them are the deliverables that you're going to do in your day-to-day -day activities of uh, test engineer the other things are a lot of concepts that you need to aware of it to get through the interviews to pass through the interviews because people will ask you hey can you explain what is integration testing or can you explain what is the difference between uh, integration and system testing or can you talk about load testing performance testing so those are you need to definitely aware of it but this is what end of the day when you join as a test engineer you're going to do practically uh, in that particular project so once I walk you through these highlighted things uh, in our live orientations you will be kind of ready to do the uh, project so that's when again we'll take a project and as, as Karthik said you will be divided into different groups and mostly you all will be doing this project and me and Manoj will be kind of helping you or not really helping I would say kind of suggesting you giving you the tips and tricks what you should do what you should not do when you actually do this project or when you write a test case or when you uh, track a, de you know, uh, a defect uh, so you all will come and present it in those sessions uh, uh, what you have done as a team so it could be around uh, uh, you know four or five teams with around ten people a good exposure to uh, you know do the project you will face a lot of challenges that you will put across and then we will try to give solutions how you should come across them in the real situations so mostly these non highlighted ones are pretty much uh, videos are available which are done by the Karthik uh, over a period of time and they are very good excellent videos uh, only thing what I will be doing in the sessions is I will be kind of recapping them wherever it is important I will be recapping them if somebody has any questions from those videos I'll be happy to take up them in our live sessions and kind of explain you for example SDLC model you have gone through the software development lifecycle models and some of you have a question on a V model I'm happy to explain it again uh, if possible so you know uh, if, if it requires more explanation I'll be happy to do that but the first thing that starts from you is as, as he just showed you in the uh, ITLN website uh, you can start going through those recordings and definitely when I do a recap it will be easily remember for you because uh, you might have some questions when you're watching through you can put them in the discussion and then we can uh, make it as an interactive session and then we can complete on these non highlighted topics the highlighted topics are the one that I will be definitely walking you through them as a live sessions and then you all will be doing uh, as a reverse knowledge sharing or whatever it is or reverse knowledge applicable on a project you try to do that on the project okay so over a period of these, uh, you will be definitely introduced to the tool like Zira, Bugzilla, and I will be uh, showing you on the ALM uh, trainings that we have recently done it. Uh, if not exactly the latest version of software that I can give you, which is ALM 12, but I can give you the previous version of it, ALM 10 or Quality Center 10. Uh, if you any of if you wanted to practice, I can share that software with you, and you can do that. ALM 12, I will be explaining you what is a hardware constraint that we have. Even if I give you, you will not be able to install because you need a pretty complicated software, uh, you know, uh, hardware which is where you need to deploy the server and everything. So we'll talk about all that, and and uh, you will be definitely going through those videos, and you get a lot of content on how you do this ALM test management. So any questions that you guys have at this moment with respect to the first two, two things forget about ALM for now I'll be explaining in the regular but with the QA live training and videos the first topic and QA live project and videos so we'll be happy to take up uh, I'm sure Karthik might be also there yeah Karthik is also there so both me and Karthik will help you if you have any questions and then we'll wait for the next uh, session that's going to come where we will be starting up with certain some of the concepts to just give you an idea where you can go through and I will be talking about some of them uh, but otherwise we'll start with these deliverables in, in the upcoming sessions so any questions that you guys have at this moment Karthik, anything that you wanted to add? Uh, I think Shankar, you've done um, a good coverage of what they can expect over the coming few days. 
this one thing i want to tell them is the schedule for the sessions will be shared by the team it may be using the same link that you have right now through which you attended it may also be a new link uh, that will be shared with you so stay tuned for communication on it uh, that way we'll be able to easily help you out with any questions now at this point do you have any questions for us that we can take uh, do put them in the chat so that uh, we can start to answer them uh, so team just make sure that all your questions are being put in the chat so we can take them one by one and start answering time would be the same every day so shweta we are looking at this time alternately it may happen that we may do uh, it at a different time so the schedule and the time the dates will be shared over email how many sessions if for free i'm assuming it is how many sessions are for free uh, i believe the first day one and day two will be demo sessions that you can attend to get an idea alternately you can also visit itlearn.com and there are plenty of demo videos out there in fact if you go and visit our youtube channel you will see there's so many free content out there that you can start readily watching uh, so for not for the not highlighted we have to just watch pre recorded videos so viji the ones like shankar was saying he's going to take and focus the ones which are most critical then there is a lot of other knowledge that you will need to know however we will give you the guidance and we will hand hold you and tell you which ones to watch how to watch and when you watching what do you do and so on how many sessions every week we typically will have five sessions monday to friday one hour each in youtube we are not able to identify where to start and where to end karthik that is true so uh, shankar if you quickly go through itlearn.com on the website we'll tell them where they can start seeing the free videos so if you're not a member if you visit itlearn.com as a visitor and you go to any course that you're interested you will see that once you click on the course the free videos the videos which are uh, demo videos which are not paid are all available on itlearn.com itself in youtube they may not be sorted in the way you expect but on the website it will be all right will you conduct mock interviews so what we're doing is as part of live project yes we do as part of live training we don't get the chance but once you go to the live projects we will get an opportunity to be able to do that in terms of projects is it real life project yes chintan we take actually an application that we are working on either be it for a client or it could be our own internal work and before we release it we need to test it so these are real projects um, that needs uh, predominant effort, i mean a significant amount of testing effort and that is why they are real life projects you can give us brief description of agile sure ashwin but then today is not the session it's just an orientation to get you accustomed to what and how things will run that's about it for today once we get into day one day two shankar is going to drive through that are you going to put today's video on itlearn yes so once you log in to our website you will be able to go under live events on top you will see for this as manual testing can you show that shankar which page will be there just navigate to the menu bar at the top please scroll up sure got it just give me one so under events sir what was the question so okay so they were saying where will we find this so you see the first event okay. which is called qa what is that manual testing live training you will find that under this banner under this link you will find today's video hosted there in the coming few hours i'm a member do i need to pay anything extra to do this project i just finished day 4 of manual testing videos and writing test cases at home for practice so neeraja please approach itlearn team we have thousands of members over 16000 or 17000 members so far uh, so we really can't figure out i cannot figure out so you have to send an email ask for the specific details the team will help you out is the real time project is both on manual and automation but depending on the course if you're part of manual testing only it will be manual testing if you're part of automation it will be automation so depending on the course and live project that you join 
accordingly the projects will be organized so yeah any kind of um, discount or what you're talking about i have no idea to it please you interact with the team directly if they are talking with you about since you're already an existing member on other courses so please approach them the team will help you resume job placement will be done after training ankur for the people who go through live project and successfully complete the live project we will work on the resume and we will also assist in placement i am not able to see the questions being asked by trainees yes the reason is we have dozens of participants in this session uh, once we open up to show what others are asking the session will get diluted that is why only we as organizers are able to see them and give you answers so i'm reading out the questions and answering it back i would like to take a course specifically on performance testing tools live training is there a schedule on that maithili again you will have to approach the team i don't know if there is a live training schedule the get uh, but i believe there is one coming up soon so you can interact with learn at itlearn.com they will give you the information varsha if you go to the pricing page you will see the details of the prices for each course all right so how do i get help in placement and resume building once you part of the live training and the live project you will get assistance on it we will send you sample resumes we will tell you how the format should be we will show how you are doing this live project and how you got to present it and then we will also review your pro, uh, resume and give you feedback on how it is how if i join qa then upgrade in master of software testing later yes so chintan lot of members do that they start with one course and then they upgrade or add more courses so that is fine don't worry about it take what you feel is needed right now what you feel is essential for your career your growth then you can always try and upgrade later um, and we will make sure that you get um, the right amount reimbursed and so on depending on what you've already paid so that you don't have to worry are you going to start qtp training immediately after the live project on manual testing right now that's the plan so it may start even before it may start parallelly uh, there is also something else we are planning to start as qtp selenium uh, placement assistance specifically preparing for those jobs um, so it depends on it pravina we will let you know how practical is it to coordinate with people and do project please give heads up karthik priya the live projects have been one of the most successful things that i've ever seen ever done if you look at the feedback from all the participants who have gone through the live project you will be surprised at the amount of content amount of satisfaction they have they've built because of doing live projects it increased their confidence and their hands on capability so significantly that they now feel that they can go and execute any kind of a job with a lot of confidence so that ability just the training may not give you live project hence i believe is very very essential and we have seen our live projects being extremely successful i am not holding back my words in any sense i am telling you very very vividly that live projects have a lot of value especially because you work with teams you will see all the challenges you will see all the issues that you will face typically working in a project and you'll see how you'll come out successfully that is what you take to your resume and interviews what is the most famous bug tracking tool hina again very specific question that you can probably use it in a forum there is nothing called most famous it is all dependent on how many people are using what tools so if you go and just do a job trend search on indeed.com you will get a good idea on which is more popular these days are doing ruby mine also no we are not run how will i get access to tools like qc jira during course so typically we will give you guidance and instructions on how you can download install and start working with the trial versions which are provided by the companies itself can you help me for job placement in ireland ashwin we haven't tried the, the geography at all so i really can't promise for ireland but again um what we could definitely do is build your skill give you the exposure and get you the live project experience that you need 
that you can take in any geography. Is selenium covered in most phi? Most phi covers a lot of courses team. Uh, Shankar, do me a favor once, please. Can you take under most most uh, online courses, master software testing? If you scroll down all the way, you'll find it. Yeah, there's a half half way. So here, if you look at, just scroll down, please. These are the first four batches of most. And here are the course contents for most. What all are included as part of master software testing. Right. So let's keep that there. Um, uh, I'm just seeing if there are any questions which are not related. I'm not covering it. Do you do ISTQB training also? Yes, we do. When are you going to do that? Probably it will start after a few weeks after we complete with manual testing we just completed one very recently in fact it is going on so i think another two or three months to start the next ISTQB. can you help us students for job placement yes Viji. important fast track videos are being paid version it is really disappointing karthik so ha, priya but then it is a training right how can i put all the videos for free important fast track videos are being paid version <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Priya. What we've tried to do is very humbly um, uh, give a lot of free content. In fact, you would not even believe the fact that there are so many students who've come to us and said, thank you so much for the free content. Only with the free content, we could go and start our learning and still get a job. So it is at the end of the day, we believe that we have helped a lot of people worldwide. And that is the reason these are videos are so popular for us all right thank you so much team i believe that's about it to the end um can we also help people Aust australia for job placement australia has been a bigger market team for us uh, we do have a lot of participants who've come from australia but physically since we are not there uh, we do not have a great control over there but again like ireland uk europe and so on you still have to explore your own market there and see how you could take it we will give you the platform we'll give you the tools for it uh, but then you have to try it at your end please canada yes canada we do have a few options uh shweta so we can try and definitely help you out there all right everyone thank you so much we're really glad to see so many participants coming and joining from um, different parts of the world uh, and i really have i'm really happy to see that shankar uh, you're taking on lead, you're uh, presenting to the right um, content and how we're going to approach. Any questions, team, you continue to have, feel free to send us an email. Once again, thank you so much. Have a great evening, morning, depending on where you are. And we'll see you back on the, for the day one session. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Shankar. Thank you, team. Yeah, thank you, Shankar.